Hello guys, it's Kiplafer and today I'm just gonna show you a quick thing on Sony Vegas and that's how to have a transparent intro. So what I mean by that is just this. Excuse me if there's any laggy footage, just my laptop and OBS together don't really work all that well. Or at least Sony Vegas and um, OBS. So anyway, this is how it should look in the end. Don't bother about this green square that's a bug i can't i seem to not be able to fix it however in the full uh video once you render it it's gone i don't know why it's there but it's here so oh well this apparently did something i don't know what the fuck i just did okay anyway so yeah there's this little green thing and yeah, you basically can't really get rid of it in any good way. That's not a problem, it's just Sony Vegas fucking up. So the basic file for this, there are a couple of requirements. First off, you need a green screen or at least a green background. So standard, it looks like this. And if I just quickly scroll through it, that's how it looks. Now thing is you can't really see anything behind it so what you need to do is just go over to video effects chroma keyer default drag it in there color then click on this little dropper thing and you can click anywhere on the screen if i click here it'll select that gray if i uh click here it'll select that black that's not what we want we want this green so you just bam, click the green and it's done. So I'll just do it one more time. Drag a default chroma key on there and select this color. There we go. So that's basically enough. So what you want to do then is have something in the background. Otherwise, again, it's not really all that fitting. So what I chose to do here, uh, this is my last video. Uh, so if you can watch it there again, if you want it wanted in smooth footage so what i usually do or always do actually is just have the normal gameplay stretch out i do split it up into two tracks that's basically there's no way to go uh, about it in a different way i don't think but, but hey this way works so let's keep it at it so this track here if you look at the effects i've got of course a color corrector like usual and i got the gaussian blur so if you don't know where the Gaussian Blur is, you just scroll down here, Gaussian Blur, and I just drag a medium blur on there. Light blur doesn't really make much of a difference. Extreme blur is too blurry, and I do find medium blur is quite good. So what you want to do then is have on your lower video track, you want to have a small overlap. Like, it doesn't matter. For all I care, you, you do it like this. I don't care. Uh, basically the thing is just you need a small overlap to go at least in the same frame as where your fade starts here you'll see what I mean in a second so the reason you have to fade these well for this one otherwise it, it just quickly disappears and it's basically like a jump cut with something transparent doesn't look good so you want to have a fade out looks good and there's nothing wrong with it so then for your middle track so the upper track of your gameplay that also needs to go because you have a blur on it and it's not really nice to look at something that's blurred for 10 minutes so you just start to fade that out and then the overlap comes in handy just to have well basically your normal thing so you can see a slide it gets like less and less blurry as time goes on and that's basically the effect you want it's not hard to do basically it's really basic actually so yeah it has kind of the effect of a crossfade but then there's no real like black hole in the middle which is not only really black but you don't see everything that's the good part about this and 
you, you can play into your uh, intro really easily. So what I mean with that is, here my name pops up. So what I do with that is I try to sync it up with where I say my name when I start talking. So I won't play now because it's going to be laggy as hell. But if you just scroll through there. Okay, so at this point, I say my name and it pops up. That's a nice effect. And yeah, that, that's just it. But the thing you want to keep in mind with it is the music with your intro, if there is any. So these two tracks are my music tracks. I've got one on a decent volume, like loud enough to, to hear it, but not too loud uh, to be obnoxious. And that just goes anywhere I don't talk. The moment I start talking, this decreases and I have an overlap with the same track. Basically, if I would extend this to here, oh, there would be no change. It would only be a bit louder. So here I start to fade this out. Because these two are in sync, you don't hear, hear like an echo effect. They're just totally in sync. That's what we want. And the moment I start talking, of course you want the music to lower. So you, so you have maximum hearability. Or you can hear the voice uh, in the best possible way. So yeah, then it goes lower here and it fades out so you don't have a sudden cut of music. And that's basically how to get a transparent intro. And it's not hard, it's really easy and I mean I hope you enjoy it. There's not really much more I can do for you with this, like in the end it all comes down to your personal preference, how you want to edit it and yeah. Anyway, if you have anything else you would like to know in Sony Vegas, do let me know.